Public transport in Mumbai involves the transport of millions of its citizens by train, road, and water. Over 88% of the commuters in Mumbai use public transport. Mumbai has the largest organized bus transport network among major Indian cities. Mumbai's public transport consists primarily of rapid transit on exclusive suburban railway lines augmented by commuter rail on main lines serving outlying suburbs, the bus services of the three municipalities making up the metropolitan area, public taxis and auto rickshaws, as well as ferry services. A metro and a monorail system have recently been inaugurated. A commercial seaplane service was introduced in 2014. Road Topic Bus Brian Mumbai Electric Supply and Transport Best has a fleet of single and double decker buses. Air conditioned King Long buses were supposed to be ordered to modernize the fleet, but Sarita's buses from Punjab were quietly bought instead. These frequently break down and hold up traffic due to their poor quality of engineering. Senior leadership of the Best has refused to comment on the issue. Navi Mumbai Municipal Transport NMMT operates air-conditioned Volvo buses from Navi Mumbai to Bandra, Dadar and Borivali, Thane, Biwandi and Non A. C buses from Navi Mumbai to Mulland East and West. Kalyan Dambivli Municipal Transport KDMT operates buses in Kalyan and Dambivli, Biwandi and to areas in Navi Mumbai such as Neral, Vashi, Panvel, Kargar and Belapur CBD. Thane Municipal Transport TMT operates their buses from Thane to Mulland, Borivali, Kurla, BKC, Inderi, Navi Mumbai, Panvel, Uran etc., Biwandi, Kalyan Dambivli and Mira Bayandar etc. TMT also operates big numbers of Volvo air-conditioned buses. Mira Bayandar Municipal Transport MBMT operates their buses from Mira Bayandar to Jogeshwari and Borivali. Visai Virar Municipal Transport VVMT operates their buses from Visai Virar to Mulland, Thane, and Bhavandi. Taxis Taxis arrived in 1911 to complement horse cars. Black and yellow Fiat taxis are an integral part of the city's heritage and have been depicted in numerous Bollywood movies. Metered taxis ply throughout Mumbai and have a monopoly from Bandra to Church Gate on the western line and Sion to Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus on the central line. Beyond Sion and Bandra auto rickshaws are not allowed and one has to hire a taxi. However, between Sion to Thane and Bandra to Bayandar, both taxis and auto rickshaws are available to transport passengers. Silver green taxis run by Meru and yellow red by gold cabs and black by mega cabs. Blue and silver air-conditioned metered taxis known as cool cabs. Some private taxi operators provide yellow number plate cars for transportation. Mumbai is served by two intra-city highways, Old Mumbai Pune Highway and Mumbai Ahmedabad Highway. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Number of taxis. There are around 58,000 taxis in Greater Mumbai and 98,566 in Mumbai MMR. Classic black and yellow taxi numbers on Greater Mumbai roads had fallen to 20,000 by 2010 as 35,000 new taxis such as Maruti Alto, Wagon R and Omni, Tata Indica and Hyundai Santro joined the ranks. Recently State Transport Authority of Maharashtra State has also introduced the on-call facility to book these taxis. One can call 022-6123-4567 to book black and yellow non-AC and cool cabs AC taxis. Radio cab services have been introduced by some private companies. However, these taxis need to be booked in advance by calling their call center number. Topic Taxi regulations Law requires the driver of an unengaged taxi to take a passenger wherever they want to go, regardless of distance or time, if the fare meter of the unengaged rickshaw – taxi is in A for hire mode. The modes were denoted by older mechanical meters in this manner, A – upright, for hire B – half-mast, not doing business C – facing down currently hired. Authorities encourage passengers to make complaints, for refusal to convey, excess fare, tampered meters, fake tariff cards, misconduct by drivers by direct email as well as by a website.
Topic: <inaudible> Rickshaws. Auto rickshaws play an important role in public transport in Mumbai. There are 246,458 black and yellow metered auto rickshaws, often simply called autos, in the Mumbai MMR as of 2008. Since 2002, all auto rickshaws have been required to use CNG as fuel. However, not all rickshaws comply. Mumbai MMRDA extends up to Thane MC, Alibagh, Badlapur, Kailan MC and Ulhasnagar MC, and in these areas a CNG filling facility is not available, hence the fuel is either petrol or LPG. Auto rickshaws are not permitted to enter Old Bombay. The southernmost points accessible to them are Bandra Fire Station in western Mumbai and Sion Bus Depot in central Mumbai. Auto rickshaws registered in Mumbai are not allowed travel beyond the municipal limits. They have been allowed to travel between Sion to Mulland in the central suburbs and up to Mankert on the harbour line. People who wish to travel beyond Mumbai to suburbs like Vashi, Eroli have to catch a suburban rickshaw. In the western suburbs, they are allowed to travel between Bandra and Bayandar only. A mechanical meter decides the fare which is proportional to distance travelled. The regulation for auto rickshaws is similar to taxis, and methods of complaining against the auto rickshaws and taxis are available on the Mumbai RTO website. Rail Mumbai Suburban Railway The Mumbai Suburban Railway is the oldest commuter rail in Asia, founded in 1853. It is owned by Indian Railways and operated by its Western Railways and Central Railways divisions. Most economical transport subsidized by the Government of India via Railway Ministry. With a length of 430 kilometers, it has highest passenger density in the world, 6.3 million people daily, more than half of daily capacity of Indian railways. It has four radial lines. Western between Church Gate and Dahanu Road. Central between Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus (CST) and Kasera Kapoli. Harbour running between CST and Panvel Goragon. Trans Harbour, running between Thane and Vashi, Panvel Mumbai railways offer first class commuter transport. First class fares are approximately 10 times the second class fare and tend to be less crowded in the non rush hour period. First class compartments also have slightly better seats than second class. While less crowded during non peak hours, the first class compartments are rather more crowded during the peak hour time, as there is a large supply and demand gap. It is notoriously hard to get into the first class compartment as the coach is overcrowded with people hanging out of the doors. There are also women only cars termed ladies, and since 1992, ladies special trains with all coaches reserved for women passengers. Topic: <laughs> Metro In January 2004, a master transit plan was unveiled by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority MMRDA. The plan integrated a 146-kilometer-long metro system, of which 32 kilometers would be underground. In June 2004, government approval was given for a 12-station elevated line between Ghatkopar and Versova. In June 2006, the first phase of the Mumbai Metro project was inaugurated. Construction work began in February 2008. A successful trial run was conducted in May 2013, and the system's first line entered operation in June 2014, although some aspects of the project were afflicted by delays and cost issues. The Mumbai Metro ridership started from 8 June 2014. Monorail <inaudible> 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 The Mumbai monorail is a monorail system for the city of Mumbai. Construction began in January 2009 and the first operational line was inaugurated on 1 February 2014. It is being contracted by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority and is the first monorail in India. There are four lines proposed. The first two are 25 kilometers 16 miles long. Out of the two, construction on the first line has begun. 
A line running from Malabar Hill to the Bandra Kurla complex via the Haji Ali Darga, Jacob Circle, Wadala Road, Sion Hospital and Dharavi. This is planned to have been opened by 2011. A line from Thane to Biwandi via Kalyan. A consultant's report to government has recommended that this corridor be served instead by a road-based system for the next 10 to 15 years using buses and bus rapid transit. Two lines 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles long are to be constructed after the first two have opened. Chamber to Jacob Circle via Mahul. This route is planned to have been opened by December 2010. May get extended to Vashi, Navi Mumbai. Lokwanwala complex to Kanjarmarg via Oshiwara. Additionally, previously planned Mumbai Metro corridors are also being examined to be made as monorail corridors instead of the metro by MMRDA due to the dense and congested areas these corridors pass through. The corridors are Hutatma Chauk, Gotkopar 21.8 km, Gotkopar, Mullen 12.4 km. Trams Trams were an important form of transport until the mid-1960s. They were introduced in the late 19th century and in their heyday, covered many areas of the city. At their peak, route length grew to more than 47 kilometers. The system closed down in 1964. Ferry. From Vashi in Navi Mumbai to the Gateway of India, to Elephanta Caves and to nearby places such as Alabog, Ruas, and Mandwa, in northern Mumbai across the Minori Creek. The barges operate at regular intervals across the shallow creek linking Minori to Malad, from Versova to Maud Island. Please check with local authority if this service is operational. Air The Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport, formerly Sahar International Airport is the main aviation hub in the city and the second busiest airport in India in terms of passenger traffic. It handled 30.74 million passengers and 656,369 tons of cargo during FY 2011-12. The new integrated terminal T2 was inaugurated on the 10th of January 2014 and opened for international operations on the 12th of February 2014, increasing the capacity of the airport to 40 million passengers annually. A dedicated six-lane, elevated road connecting the new terminal with the main arterial Western Express Highway was also opened to the public the same day. The proposed Navi Mumbai International Airport to be built in the Kapra Panvel area has been sanctioned by the Indian government and will help relieve the increasing traffic burden on the existing airport. The Juhu Aerodrome was India's first airport, and now hosts a flying club and a heliport. See also Mumbai Urban Transport Project Timeline of Mumbai events Transport in India M Indicator <laughs>